right, back. I did the last video with the pasta dough. Now I'm gonna show y'all what to do with it. We're gonna make some ravioli. Okay, they go to um the pasta dough from earlier. I just dusted my little area with some flour, and this is um this is crab cake right here. I got a video on this. You can go to my video on YouTube at Chef underscore Vest. What are you doing in that drawer, boy? Get out of here. That's my son nosy and everything. Watch out. Go watch cartoons. But um yeah, go to Chef Chef Vest on YouTube to get that recipe. I'm just typing Chef Vest how to make crab cakes. All right, let's get it. Okay, I got my flour. Put that to a side. Got my flour. I'm gonna dust, uh, dust the top. See, I got my table already dusted. And basically, let me get my knife. I want to cut that. You want to cut it. You know, just cut it in half. Put those in the four different parts, put that to the side, and um, you just roll out little by little. I mean, you dust my rolling pin, part my little limited space, but uh, you know, make it work or we'll stick into the rolling pin. Let me move that out the way. Alright, see that there? We'll roll it out. We're gonna do everything by hand. I don't have a machine. So we're gonna do everything by hand. See my space is limited, so you know it is what it is. But uh we still gonna make this happen. You don't wanna roll it too thin. See I did it a little too thin over there. And um, basically, okay, I'm going to take just a little bit of uh, some of this, um, some of this uh, crab cake mix, lay that out, look like I'm using a little bit too much, but you don't need that much. You know, then I'm gonna fold that over. Move that to a side. We uh, it's kind of sticking to the table. I ain't use enough flour. Okay, there we go. That ain't gonna stop the show, as you see. You know, you got to use what you got. You know what I mean? Got to improvise. It's kind of breaking a little bit. Uh-oh. We're going to fix that. Roll those over like that. I'm going to take my trusty uh, little pasta cutter. And just... And that's it. It and that's all. See how simple that is? I'm gonna do one more for you. You know? Oh, that one got out. So that's why I said I used too much. Shouldn't have used so much. Had to cut it again. And basically, uh, that's it. We're gonna put, drop those in some water, some boiling hot water. Do one more for you guys. Plain and simple. Um, I'm gonna cut and make the rest of them, then we're gonna put them in the water. Okay, we back, and this is what it looks like. Bring it up close to you so you can see. 
all of them ain't uniform. You know, but it is what it is. You know, we going we getting a little unorthodox. You know, we going like I always say, we gonna keep it nice and ghetto, just how I like it. You know, show you different ones. Now, I'm gonna get my water boiling. We gonna drop these bad boys in some water, boil them for like probably like three minutes, and then I'm gonna make a nice quick Alfredo sauce. Okay, we back off into the water. They go. It's not going to take that long. When they start floating to the top, they're done. I'm not going to put that many at a time. Turn it down some. Mm, I'll put one more. Oh, that was hot. Okay, okay, as you see, they're starting to float to the top, but they're not quite done yet. Okay, now they're rising to the top, like my man Kenny Burke said. So um, I take it that they're done. I'm going to take them out and put them in my pan and drop the next few. See the difference? How they look from when they was raw. Let's get these bad boys up out of there. Alright, now for the next batch. Place them down nice and easy. Okay. Okay, they all done. Zoom in for you real fast. Alright. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how to do that sauce. Just give me a couple seconds. Okay, I'm back. Now we're gonna do a quick Alfredo sauce. No way you seen this first. We ain't gotta make no roux or none of that. We use um two of these. I got two half pints, which equals one pint of heavy whipping cream. Okay, I'm going to let that reduce, then I'm going to add some Parmesan, some salt, and then some white pepper. Okay, now that it's starting to simmer, I'm going to add this uh, Parmesan cheese up in there. This is a quick way to make Alfredo sauce. You ain't got to be melting the butter and the shallots to make the roux. With the milk and all of that, we just do it like this. Let it reduce. You know what I mean? I'm gonna let that reduce, and then I'm gonna add the um, ravioli to that. Okay, it's reduced. You see how that looks? Let me get the spoon. That's how it's going to look. Hold on a minute, let me switch hands. Basically, Alfredo sauce done real fast. You can do that with anything. Any, you know, any type of pasta. Add a little salt. I'm add a little white pepper. Remember, when you're making white sauces, you use white pepper. Because the black pepper will show. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now I'm going to add this um, ravioli to that. So dump those in. Stop playing with it. Let those cook in there for a minute. And then we're going to eat. That's it and that's all. Alright, we're 
we back, still simmering. Add a little parsley to that while we went to break. Some dry parsley, nothing fancy. All right, I'm gonna let that simmer a little more, and then we're going we're going to sample that. Okay, now here it is. Oh wow, look at that. Woo! Mmm. Looky here, looky here. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, there you have it. Some crab meat ravioli from scratch. Visit me on Instagram at chef underscore best. Make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel. Pardon. No, this is good. Mm.